Johnny! I, I can't say this for sure, but I'm gonna credit to you anyways. Back this past summer, you started doing a wave trans transition that we hadn't seen anywhere else. And whether or not you invent it, I don't know. The world's a big place, but it certainly was the first time we'd ever seen it. We hadn't seen it on, on uh, social media or any, any other place. And what we called it was the fish ladder. The fish ladder is the transition from the first wave to the second wave. And the reason why this transition is so killer is one, you can use a short rope. So you don't need the long rope. Nobody has to pull that thing in. But more importantly, it's a great way to train. That's the way we would train. We take off on the short rope, go ahead and pump out back to the second wave, and then we would do the whole fish ladder down to the third wave, fourth wave, four to four, three to three, do those transitions, and then take the gas off, come back to the first wave, and do it all over again. So the fish ladder. This video is all about the fish ladder. Johnny, I don't know if you invented it, but you do it pretty well. So thanks so much for that. It turns out if you can do this pretty well, it really helps with your uh, boat pirating skills because you learn how to come into that second wave with different angles and being able to snap that foil in multiple different ways. So we highly suggest it. Johnny, is there anything that you'd like to say about the fish ladder? Yeah, I don't know if I'd claim that I'd invented it, but I want to talk about the inspiration for the viewer. <laughs> you know, Please, tell yeah. us about the inspiration. Well, some of you may know this, but I'd like to share it now. I'm I'm a fan of fish, Tim. Yeah. I like fishing. Yeah. I like all things about fish. You nicknamed the Flounder Pounder. Yeah, I've, I've been known to commune with the fish. Flounder Pounder does not discriminate. He catches all flounders, all shapes and sizes. But this one's a little too small to keep, so we kiss him. <laughs> get bigger. But yeah. when I was out there behind the boat and I was on the first wave, I thought to myself, I need to transcend. I need to move. I need to move up the ladder. Up and the that's, ladder. That's how the inspiration came. So once I got out there like a fish pumping the foil, yeah. Mother Nature helped me go back to the second wave, third wave, fourth wave. I can't do it every day. Sometimes I can't do it at all, and that's when I get pissed off at you. But it is a great way to train, and it's a lot of fun, so yeah. good luck. This is gonna help all of, your, all of your wave transfers. It actually helps in the ocean as you read going from one wave to the second wave on those freighters as we move through the waves. You're gonna love it. Fish Ladder. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram. Enjoy it. Get out there and train. Leave a message if you have a question. See ya. Awesome. Now typically before we start doing wave transitions, you'll see us take a few turns. I'm exploring the water. You see me get up pretty close to the spine there. Just kind of see how I'm feeling. Get loose and get ready to go. And then for me at least, I tend to drop back a little bit deeper in the wave so I can get a run. So there you see me at the edge of where the smooth water meets the bubble line. And if we break that back slow-mo, I'm coming up the wave, dipping the board down right here, loading it with power. See how low it is. See how I'm looking outside of the wave. Then I rise it up to bring all that power to the top and begin to, begin to pump. And when I pump here, I'm pumping away from the boat. I'm not worried about where the wave is. I'm closer to 90 degrees from the outside of the boat. But here, when I think it's about time, I'm gonna turn. I spy my target. Look at my target in terms of where I want to go. In this case, it's the second wave. And I'm gonna aim for the spine, the front end of that wave. Because when I do, I come in a little bit behind. Now notice when I come in right there, I'm starting to look at the back swim step. So again, Go out here, I'm coming, I'm pumping, get to this point, turning, looking, spying the target, coming back, aiming a couple feet up front of where I think I'm gonna come in, so that I come in. Now if we switch to John, here he is getting ready to do a uh, uh, transfer. He's taking a few turns, getting used to it. Now he doesn't get as much of a run at the wave as I do. He's a little bit better pumper, but he's still loading the board. See that? And the trick is this turn away from the boat closer to 90 degrees away. He loaded it low, took it up high. He's pumping, not worried about where the boat is. He's getting ready, makes a turn, starts to spy his target. He 
he's looking at the wave in terms of where he wants to get back to because the eyes lead you where you want to go. And again, it's a couple feet ahead of where you think you want to be, where that wave, the leading spine is. John comes in, he's aiming higher, comes about midpoint on that wave. Here, I love looking at this because it's smooth water. Watch the fish hook shape. And we're going to go ahead and do a replay of that in terms of pumping out to the side. Look at how aggressively it turns back towards the wave. Look at that fish hook right there. That turn comes back towards the wave. It's ready to turn towards the spine. Now, you know, when you look at this in terms of, you know, pumping out here, touches the water. That's not a point of plan, but you can leave platform, suck those knees up into your chest so you get higher. In this case, he spies his target, and instead of coming back to the second wave, he's going to go ahead and pump back to the third wave. Same principle, even a little bit higher than where you want to be, and you come right into it. Now, if you look again, he's aiming a couple feet further ahead, comes in, and that's what we're talking about in terms of training. You know, when you're stealing waves from other people, or you're coming in, you know, coming in on the ocean. Here, we're, he's going from three to two. Touches down, not according to plan, re-platform, get a little bit of speed off that wave. And you notice here, it's a good old fashioned aerobic exercise for Johnny as he decides that he's want to pump from number three to number two. The boat's going 11.2, I didn't slow down here. So he's pumping about 12 miles an hour. So the fish ladder isn't always on the outside. Sometimes the fish ladder is on the inside. So here I am on the second wave. I'm gonna go ahead and do a wave transfer to get myself from the second wave to the third. Come in without hesitation, go into that second wave, turn back to the third, aim towards the leading edge of it, and then come over the top. When you come over the top, you have to have a little bit of front foot pressure. Because remember, there's a lot of water pressure that makes you want to breach. So we come here without stopping, turn, now notice here as we come out of this where the eyes are. I'm sighting my target. Notice the body is still loading up that foil with power. Come back to the third wave, just a little bit deeper than where the wave is to give me time to turn. Front foot pressure puts me in front of it. A couple quick pumps to make sure that I make it into that wave. Now here's Johnny. Sometimes you're not going second to third. Sometimes you just want to go first to first. And so John's taking a couple exploration turns closer to the spine where there's a good amount of turbulence and then goes the other side. In the thing when you look about wave one to wave one transfer from the port side to the starboard side, there's a lot of turbulence. So you keep that board low. There it is. That foil is probably buried three quarters of the way into the water. Now for all you goofy guys out there, right foot forward, here's Jason coming off the wave, pumping on in, just so you know. So when we look at this in summary, the best way I think, drift back, get speed, sharp turn away from the boat, sink it down low, bring it up high so you have power, go ahead and pump away, stop, sight your target, come back in, Aim a little bit higher than you think you need to, and one last turn, and you got it made. Have fun, I hope you enjoy it. Say I finally caught an Alaskan fish that's of note. And it's been hard because Captain Mike won't take us to decent fishing spots. Nonetheless, <laughs> I've done my best, and here we have a real Alaskan fish. So pay attention, viewers and subscribe over here, link down here, buy the merch over here, uh, <laughs> email your mom over here. We need more viewers. <laughs> it's about to get real. You gotta skate. <laughs> Bring it up, Flounder. <laughs>